are the two best features of the Chroma console that make it stand out from its competitors? Let me show you. This is my latest video on the Chroma console. In previous videos, I've walked you through all of the different modules, what they are and how to use them. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I think are the two things about this pedal that make it stand out from the rest of the pedals similar to it on the market. For this video, I'm gonna be using my Korg Mealog XD, and this is the sound that we've got for that. So really simple sound. Everything we're gonna get is gonna come from the pedal. And if you're interested in the Chroma console, what it does and how to manipulate the sounds within it, then I'm gonna put some links at the end of this video to the mini series that I just put up onto my YouTube channel. The first of the two reasons why I think this pedal is fantastic is because of gesture. Hologram Electronics had this in previous pedals, but not the Microcosm, which I was pretty frustrated at, but they brought it back into Chroma console. And what gesture allows you to do is control, record and bake in any movements of the of the knobs and any of the effects that you like. To access gesture, you hit those two buttons together and you'll notice then that these four buttons go white. So let's get a basic sound up. We'll play something really, really simple just so you can get the point. So, and to emphasize this, I'm gonna pick a couple of different sounds. So firstly, let's go into the movement module, which is the yellow knobs here, and we're gonna go down to vibrato. So two clicks of the button, we're on yellow and you can see that yellow is vibrato. So let's hear that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the gesture of moving the rate knob. So, if we put the rate knob at minimal, and then move it to maximum, you can hear the impact of the vibrato change and the rate change. What we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially record this movement. but we don't wanna be moving the knobs all the time, do we? So we're gonna click our two buttons here to take us into gesture mode. And then we're gonna just move the rate knob without playing anything, press it again, and then play our note. So you can hear the rate really ramp up and that is then baked in. If I save that preset, that gesture isn't gonna move. Again, I could actually do the gesture for four different effects if I wanted to. So uh, so let's do that out of interest. Let's put um, space on, which is our reverb sound. So we're gonna come off vibrato, and no, we'll keep vibrato on, and we'll hear what we've got. Quite a short, sharp reverb. If we turn the time all the way up, we're gonna get a, a, a much bigger reverb. So let's record the gesture making the reverb time uh, from small to large. So click gesture again, and we're gonna go from where it is currently, which is a big reverb, down to a small reverb. And hit gesture again, and then you'll hear now both the vibrato and the reverb, the gestures we've recorded, been saved into the sound. Cool, so it goes from a really deep, rev big reverb to a small, short time. And now let's add a texture in. We're gonna go for interference because it's the most obviously noticeable. We're gonna go full dial. And we're gonna do gesture recording. So it's recording now. And we're gonna go from there back to off, basically. So there we go, hopefully that explains what gesture is. Just a couple of examples. Again, movement is probably the best module to pick out for this. We can go down to tremolo. And the movement's still in there. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna re-record the movement. We're gonna do both this time. So we're gonna go from something really barely noticeable, there's any tremolo on there whatsoever. And we're gonna then ramp both of those all the way up. And let's add some character module. Let's go for let's go for the, the howl. And we're gonna we're gonna ramp or we're gonna uh, add a gesture to the tilt. Let's do that. Let's record. And we're gonna go from where we are to the right.
And it's impacted by the speed, so if we do that really quickly. And another really good one to express it would be the filter. So we're just on red here, uh, basically essentially an EQ. So we're just gonna move that forward and backward really quick. So we go, something that you would otherwise probably need to use an expression pedal for or other types of expression, or get down your hands and knees and be moving the knobs when you play. If you wanted to record some of those, bake them into your sounds and add some really unique character on top of all the great effects that are in there, then the gesture movement, the gesture recording ability in the Chroma console is something that's pretty unique and in my opinion, really, really useful. Let's move on to the second thing in the Chroma console that I think really makes it stand out, makes this pedal brilliant. And that is the ability to order or change the order of any of these effects. As you'll have seen in my previous videos, we've got four banks of effects, if you like. So character, movement, diffusion, and texture. And you can play all of those simultaneously or you know, two of them, one of them, whatever you want to do. Um, obviously, as long as the effect sits within each of the modules. So you could play a drive, a tremolo, a delay, and a compressor for example. But let me just show you some examples of how being able to change the order of the effects really does make a difference of the sound that comes out your instrument. In a textbook sort of pedal order, you typically have reverb at the end of your chain, maybe delay before that, and then before that other modulation and drives and stuff like that. Some reverb on, so we're gonna go to space. So we go, a nice medium size, medium hall sort of reverb. I'm gonna put some some fuzz on. And I'm gonna put a little bit of phaser on, just cause why not? Okay, and then we're gonna click into, as you can see on here, FX setup. The two end buttons are blobbed out. So we're gonna hit both of those flash blue and all the buttons come up in order so that's telling us at the moment what order these effects are being played in now we're going to select all four so at the minute we're going to start with fuzz we're going to go from the fuzz into the phaser and from the phaser into the reverb and then i'll click texture although we're not using any texture so we're literally going left to right at the moment what does that sound like <laughs> Let's go back in and we're going to change things up. So I'm going to have the reverb first. I'm going to have the reverb going into the fuzz and then the fuzz going into the phaser. Let's hear what that sounds like. Exact same effect settings. I'm going to change the back to the order before. So we had fuzz going into phaser, going into reverb. So yeah, very, very different sound. Hopefully you can hear that. For this example, we're gonna start with a drive. So first button is a drive. We're gonna go from the drive into a pitch shift. Pitch shift, we're gonna go into a delay. And then we're gonna go into cassette. And we're gonna go in that order. Drive, 
going into pitch, going into delay, going into cassette. Let's change that order a little bit. And we're going to put the drive last fundamentally, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go from cassette to pitch, into delay, and into drive. And then just to have some fun, just to combine both the first two points I've made there, let's add some gestures onto this setting. So we're going to click the two right there. And I'm going to do a gesture onto the delay. Gesture onto pitch. So yeah, pretty gnarly. Let's just dial that back a bit so I don't scare anyone. And we could just go uh, fuzz into pitch. There we go, absolute madness, but just an idea of some of the capabilities of this pedal. So two reasons why I would recommend this pedal, I think it's fantastic. On top of everything that I've shared with you in my previous videos of this series so far, we have got fantastic gesture movements that you can bake and record and save into your settings in the Chroma console. And on top of that, you can reorder and pick and choose bespoke uh, FX setup as they call it. So essentially what order the effects are gonna play. If any of that looked interesting, uh, comment below. What did you like? What questions have you got? What more do you wanna see from me in the Chroma console? There's some links here to some of the videos that I mentioned earlier. Please do join me here on the channel. I post every Monday and Wednesday minimum each and every week. And my aim for 2024 is to take as many bits of pedals and gear and all that sort of good stuff and really break them down into small bite-sized chunked videos so that anyone can understand them and anyone can then implement them into into your own creativity so hit the subscribe button if that sounds like something you're interested in if you want more chroma console then the link here will take you to my playlist of all of my chroma console videos and thanks for watching